Hey guys, what's up? Um, what's going on now? This I know I haven't uploaded a channel in a, a video in a long time, but I'm working on my Ford or Ford Lanky Continental, as I should call it. It's an 01. All right, the stereo. The factory stereo they put in them is an Alpine stereo system. It's got you four mains. I have, I'm hearing two different things. They're all. Some cars are carrying six by eights all in the doors. Some of them carrying five and a quarters in the doors, six and a quarter, six and a halves in the door in the front, and five and eight, six by eights in the back, or five by eights. I have no idea. I haven't got to that point. Well, I do know one thing that these cars do carry an option of two amps in the back end. One for your two uh, six by nine, so you get six speakers in this car plus an 8 inch subwoofer with another factory amp which mine does not have the amp for the sub in it um but yeah you guys just see what I'm doing here but I'm gonna show you guys a little trick get this universal adapter is an FDK 106 it's for all the Ford brands Lincoln Mazda Mercury and Nissan, so you see it's Ford from 86 to 2011, 89 I mean. So, what you're going to have to do to it is find your plug like I did. That's mine for the Link Continental. There's two more plugs in there that will not be used. One's for the amp and the other's for the 6 changer, which I'm going to lose my 6 changer, but oh well. That's something I'm going to have to deal with, I guess. Um, but one thing you're going to have to do with that pl universe plug is cut these freaking other plugs off that you don't need. That's what it said by Universal for Ford. Because Ford makes Mazdas, if anybody didn't know, and Mercury, but I don't know why Nissan Quest is in there. I don't know. And then this plug. So it should be three plugs that you guys are going to cut off. One, two, three. You don't want all that crap that you don't need on it. Um, figure out which plug you need first. Cut it all off. Make sure each one of those are individually taped, so there's no shorting. I didn't. Uh, well, I didn't do the uh, soldering because this is not going to be the radio. If you guys wonder what radio got? It is the JVC. I am going. To, it's the JVC. KDSR82BT Bluetooth. This is not going to be the promised one, but for fill in, we've got a K2 technology in it, which is kind of interesting. But that's not going to be, it's just going to be a fill in so I have a radio. Um, what's going to go in there is the um, Pioneer uh, AVX um, 5800. So, I'll get to you guys in a few minutes, and I'll show you what I'm up to. Alright, see ya. Alright, so for those who don't know how to do it, just push pins. Just grab a hold of here, pull out, pull out, pull the bottom of this out, take a screw out. Be careful if you have this temperature probe. So, be very careful of that little guy. And then you'll see it. Now if yours have the JBL audio you would have the style. If you do not you won't have this. This is the plug I need. This I believe it's for the amp and I think that's for the steering wheel. So I think I got steering wheel because I do have steering wheel controls. So I think this one's for steering. This is for the amp. I believe this is for the amp or a 6 is changer. Don't know. I can't find the pin out for it. So, it's going to be all fun, guys. So that's the gizmos going on. Now we should be able to just take our new harness, snap it in, take my new Pioneer, my new JVC wannabe Pioneer, and clip it. And hopefully...
should, my legal rights, work after I get the key. I hope. I forgot to grab the key when I was in that, in my game room. This is something that's not cool. Okay. You guys wonder why I'm just shoving it in there? Because I don't know if this the FD3090 is going to work. It's what I found online for this. Because it don't. It says Ford Mercury, Ford Lincoln, Mazda and Mercury, 95 and up. Well, if you look on the back. Under Ford, under Lincoln, right there you go. Lincoln Navigator, Mark, Mark LT, MK, MKX, Navigators. So, it's down under Lincoln. What is what uh, Sonic Electronics is, says. It's an FD3090. So, it's an unmarked vehicle. So, we'll be back in a minute. Alright guys, let's see. We got the car working. Anybody can tell me what that unit is? That'd be nice and what these relays for. So the amp is not working on this car. Alright. We'll catch you later when I get more of the update done. Alright, see ya. Alright guys, we're back. The kit, the um, the kit that I was talking about, the face plate. The 3090 does work. We're gonna have to use a thin bezel one. Um, we're gonna have to cut this ear, this ear off. On this side, leave this ear on. Cut this ear off. This one, shave this down. Okay, you see where I shaved it? Shave it, cut it, shave it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Same thing on that side. And that would get you the single den in. Unless you want to do a custom built way, then it would have worked. But for me, should all just plug and play now without too much fight. Now, if you guys do what I say, it should work for this setup. And this year, this is an old two, and this plate face plate for an older setup. All right, let's try this again, guys. If I don't knock you off. Now, when you do it, make sure your wires go up on top. That's why I put it on the bottom, so I can get my wires on top. And we should just slide right in. Should slide in like a glove. And sometimes it don't. Hmm. 
Well, the last time I checked, this would work perfect. Might have to shave some more off so I lift it up. So you gotta get it lined up with this holes to there. So right now she's off a uh, good amount right now. So we're gonna have to go in and shave some more. So we're just gonna have to shave this. And I'll be back when I get her in. All right, guys. See all the plastic I pretty much took off. Now let me guys do this. See that? See how I did that cut relief? That's to clear this hump in here. Now when I slide her in, which I'll slide in, and now she should go all the way up where I need her to snap in this panel. So she should set in like that. should see your screws pretty good. So only going to be a hold too that holds this in. So we'll be back in a second. Alright, once you get those hand tightened, do not use a wrench. Just hand tighten them. Because you will break the plastic. That's secured in. Now let's see if we're done. Let's check. See if it turns on. Well, that's good. So that's them. Let's see if we got static. I got static. So it looks good. Shuts off. Okay. Now keys out of the way really quick. This gizmo I told you guys about that don't break it, you gotta make sure you get that back in the hole. You know something I forgot to do? Hook up the Bluetooth. Be back a second. Now once you guys got that all taken care of. Now let's just put this back together. This is where the fun part goes. You know one thing that irritates me guys while I'm doing this? Is manufacturers do not include screws in the radials to install the brackets to them. That's like really stupid. I wish they did. I haven't caught any of them yet. Including the screws to melt brackets make sure you put that screw down here in a little seven millimeter screw again Should have two screws left over, which I do. Throw them on the floorboard because I don't need them now. I'll take this. Pull her up. Snap her in. That looks good. Modern radio now. God, that looks different, guys. And don't look too bad around the trim. I mean, it's tight here. Gapped here. You guys are really finicky, you guys can probably adjust that a gap, but I'm not. The one thing I do know for right now, I think these uh, steering wheel don't work on it. I'm jet it's not surprised for none. So the volume works here, but no volume on steering. So that's all right. Now, one thing to know about setting the setting this, press and hold this. Set up the EQ settings, audio, sound effects, display tuner, Bluetooth settings, clock, English, Spanish, demo. So yeah, I get it goes through it all. And another thing is, you get your phone. Let's go to Google Play or 
Go, yeah, go play. Mm-hmm. Should be able to go here. The JVC. Remote control. Smart music control. I think it's under that. So if one of these controls, I gotta read through it. So it's either the JBC Smart Music Control, Audio Control, BR1, and a Music Play. So it's one of those things you can use. So let me get my radio set up and let me figure out which one of those apps I need. And we'll be back. See ya.